Hiya, welcome to this video. Now I know that uh, Windows 7 has been released now and uh, what I wanted to show you is a video on Windows 7 Rescue PE Discs. Now we've been talking about Windows XP Live and Windows Vista PE so I wanted to show you a Windows 7 Rescue PE Disc. It's a pre-installed environment where you can actually boot to the CD and repair a lot of boot up issues or transfer files across or missing files, corrupt files, stuff like that, scan for viruses or spyware all the list endless really, mirror image the drive, stuff like that okay but you're going to need a pre-installed environment to do that and you need obviously a Windows 7 pre-installed environment so if you're going to make your own one you can actually come to winbuilder.net and download their program you're going to need something like winbuilder 077 RC2 Okay, download that and you're also going to need the Windows Automated Installation Kit AIK for Windows 7 okay it's about 1.7 1 um, 1 megabytes so it's, one, it's about one, one and a half gigs or something like that okay so that's going to take a bit of time to download once you've got them downloaded you're going to need a Windows 7 operating CD uh, operating a system CD so you can actually take the files off of those and put them into a folder now if you want to go about doing this you can actually have the WinBuilder folder like so then have the Windows 7 folder this is empty at the moment but you obviously transfer all your files into here from the CD or you can actually just put a path to your CD you need to install obviously your WAIK uh, program you need to download this and install that ready okay and once you've done that you're pretty much good to go to build the CD yourself it's a few things you're going to need to do but you can obviously read up about that yourselves I'll probably make a video about it um, later on in the future but you need to put the ticks on in here okay and this and then download okay once you've done that you pretty much let me just uh, refresh that and hopefully that's gonna there we go so once you've got this like that you push download and that will come down okay and then you can actually build your own disk you can actually customize it to the way you want as well so if you want to have a little look at the actual uh, Win7 Rescue PE disk now I'm going to boot this up into a virtual machine so you can actually see it working um, but obviously you'd burn this ISO image to a CD and as you can see I'm, I'm actually booting to it it's, what, it's nearly 700 megabytes so let's start that up and uh, there you go this is um, the actual Windows 7 PE disk booting up or I should say rescue PE disk that's booting up there is a version called Win7 PE as well it's a little bit like a uh, BART PE but as you can see it's uh, booting up okay and this is what you're going to be seeing once it boots up. Now you can imagine your PC is not booting up now and uh, you've got an error message how dear little file missing stuff like that. You can actually get to the actual operating system files and actually see what's going on. Drop that file in there or maybe copy the whole hard drive straight across to an external hard drive. Things like that and this is going to save you a lot of time and hassle. So this is the actual uh, application booted up there as you can see and as you can see we've got our pre-installed environment, we've got anti-spyware programs, there's only a couple in here at the moment but eventually there will be, if you want to custom build your own, you'll be able to have malware bytes and all these other programs running in a pre-installed environment so you can scan for spyware and stuff like that okay and uh, obviously because you're in memory there's nothing running so it'll clean them off very very easily, okay, you can also manually delete them easily from this environment as well also got network tools as you can see FileZilla and stuff like that terabyte uh, terabyte image that's to make your mirror images you've also got uh, hard disk tasks diagnostic tools recovery partition find them amount and you've also got MBR which is MBR fix other things that are pretty useful as well you can, as I said in as in as time goes by people will be customizing these to the max and uh, if you can't do it yourself and obviously just wait until someone builds a really big one and a real decent one and then download that off of them because they will put it up on the internet for you to download so as you can see we've got a remote desktop 
uh, desktop connection also got internet access from this environment and uh, also we've got uh, an actual recovery startup recovery as you can see debug we've got a uh, registry uh, registry uh, red shot uh, remote registry editor also got system recovery and also startup repair for Windows 7 I mean there's a lot of good tools on here and it's very early stages it Windows 7 has not been out that long so download it give it a go or build your own and let us know how you get on and maybe uh, if you build a real decent one post it up on my forum and let everyone else see what you've done anyway my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope you enjoy these videos if you do please subscribe to my channel rate for all my videos and uh, if you haven't registered on my forum yet please uh, go over there and uh, register and uh, start posting some of your questions there that you may have or some ideas that you've got and uh, try and build up a nice community thanks a lot for your support I've got 700 subscribers now and I'm real pleased with that thanks a lot for everyone who's who subscribed and uh, give me my, their support thanks a lot bye for now